Lisboa, Bruxelas, Varsóvia. Europe is us with Dino. Europe is us, but who are we? Stay with us and you'll find out. Today's topic, job opportunities. Today's guest, Irene Barahona Fernandez, an activist and a journalist from the Castilla and Leon region in Spain. Irene, where exactly are you from and where do you work? In my personal life uh, and in my uh, work uh, life too, I talk about uh, the population because I'm an activist I belong to a, a civil platform called um, Jóvenes de Castilla y León. Uh, we try to, to speak out about uh, the population. Uh, it's a height problem, like our politicians don't really speak about this. It's not a main topic in our politics. <music> Not everyone has heard about La España Vaciada. Could you explain it to us? What is it and what does it mean? La España Vaciada, it's uh, like, for translated, empty, empty Spain. Uh, it refers to uh, the central part of Spain, Castilla y León, and mostly Castilla y La Mancha, which is like maybe the 50% of the whole territory of the country. Uh, but with some parts to in, in the north, maybe in, in, the, in Andalusia, in the south. Um, did, uh, this, uh, this name, España Vaciada, refers to a territory who is suffering from the population through like the last decades. In today's Watchdog's perspective, our guest is Matej Simic, a journalist at Večer, a newspaper from Maribor, Slovenia. Last week I've met a friend of mine. She's in her early 20s studying. She's a very smart, perspective young girl who's seeking for different opportunities to work in media. She has been working long hours on different short-term projects for the past two or so years. And to underline, she is very successful at what she does. But there's always a but. I'm so exhausted, she told me. I've been working like crazy for around 300 euros altogether. I can barely afford to live in the capital Ljubljana. Is this the real life? She asked me. Young grown-ups in their early, mid or even late 20s are dealing with, for people at different life stages, unimaginable challenges. Talking from my perspective, we are at the breaking point, where the importance of everything you can imagine is the same. Education, super important. Starting to build a career with usually not very well-paid student job Super important. Trying to become independent and move away from home. Super important. Spending time with friends, make connections, business or private, travel to get life experiences. Super important. As we know by now, there is always a but. There it goes. But to realize all these super important things, we are running out of A. Time and B money and consequences exhaustion before even starting to live a real life we are back with irene in zamora irene you also went outside to work in lisbon to be precise how did you see the situation back at home from that standpoint i think in lisbon i i saw a, um, a problem about this high concentrated population, the prices, uh, a low quality of life. Um, are like, uh, for me, are the crises that we are going to, to fight against the next decades. Our population can't fit in the same urban area. 
a whole country can't fit in the same city. I think now, for example, talking about Lisbon, I I guess it was the 20% of the population of all Portugal lives there. Thanks so very much, Irene, and thank you all for your attention. Don't forget to subscribe to the podcast and listen to what we have to say, because Europe is us. Lisboa, Bruxelles, Varsava.